Hello there everybody, Oimon here, and welcome back to Dredge, where when we last left off, I'd done a little bit of exploring, sort of, mostly around the starting area, I was a little too worried about exploring too far out, but after I gave the fishmonger some, um, bad fish, he kind of disappeared, so I had to go wandering off to find somewhere to sell my fish, which was a little unfortunate, but hey, we did at least learn that it's not that dangerous out there, as long as you're careful. And, um, yes, in terms of where we've been, actually, we can have a look at the map. As we can see we've got Greater Marrow, which is our nice central location. And Little Marrow opposite. We do have the little crab net there, which I'm pretty sure is what that is. Um, we've got the Blackstone Isle there with our uh, mysterious guy who's given us the odd quest to retrieve a bunch of relics from around the place. And we've got Steel Point, which I do need to go and check in with. I need to go and check in on that person because we helped her to, well, we helped her gather the resources so she could build a house. And I want to see if she has actually built the house and she might have to, actually, did I, did I check in with her already? I don't remember. We can double check anyway. So we also came down to Ingfell. Um... With the dusty pontoon. I don't know if that actually moves. It's implied it can move, but whether it will actually move, I don't know. There are some ruins there. There is a treasure there and there. Uh, I did try going into this area, but there was unfortunately a very large sea serpent. So we won't be going that way again. Um, and you know, so yeah, I haven't been down there. This is apparently like a little touristy area. Uh, these two areas are implied to be quite difficult. So it's like, don't go up here until you're ready. Like, you need some really good light to deal with all the fog around here, because there's fog up there even during the day. And this place has, like, volcanic stuff. Um, so that's not probably going to be a good place to go for, you know, a while. Um, so we got these three areas to deal with. There's also this down here, which I, I don't know. I'm assuming is the location of the DLC. Because they added this, like, Arctic expansion for DLC. I'm assuming that's where it is. Aside from that, I don't know why it's got the big circle question mark there, because it's been there the entire game. So that's that. We've got some good equipment. We've got a rod for oceanic stuff and a rod for coastal and shallow, both of which have a very good fishing speed. We're at 160 right now, which is good. We've got a nice, powerful light. Uh, we've got a couple of treasures that we do actually need to sell. We need to do that. And we've got, some, we've got three decent-sized engines, which will uh, hopefully be good. Um... In terms of our upgrades, we're still missing one piece of wood that we need for more rod space. And then we need to gather up the materials and indeed the funds for that. Um, so two metal, three cloth, four wood, and one special. Well, we got the two metal and the three cloth. That's okay. But we need that means we need five pieces of wood and one... I don't know what the special is because I can't really like look at it. It doesn't specifically say what it is I need. Because uh, I can't look at it until I unlock this one. So, uh, yeah, we, we need at least one piece of wood. Um, aside from that, I don't think there's too much else. See, that's mangrove and coastal, but I don't have room for it at the moment. Hmm. I think we got more or less everything we need. I'm a little curious, actually, because we have, um, we have these nets, which can, like, get me stuff when I'm not actually fishing. But as, as it looks there, I'd have to replace one of my fishing rods with it, so, you know, if I'm doing a lot of traveling rather than specifically looking for stuff, then that might be an idea. We've also got the research here, but I don't have any parts. I don't look like any of the people around here are looking for my attention, so off we go. So yeah, we'll go sell those treasures. And then we'll go looking for some equipment. Why is that like got that weird effect? I don't know, let's find out. Well, that's a good look. Oh, 
fit in there for now. I need to sell some shit. Yeah, I need to check my... We have a crab. I, um... Probably shouldn't have put it that... Oh, it literally won't let me dock because... There it is. So this is in the food if I'm useful. Ooh, a book. Hey, that's nice. I like books. Excellent. Dollars. Hmm. Relaxed mind. Oh, might as well add that to the list. Okay, so we can... I hate that it was the wrong way. Like I had everything nice, it was sorted, it was settled, it was all good. Get us some nice cash. Nice. Nice clean inventory. Right. No. I really don't know what that shiny stuff means on top. Ah. Hey, thanks for helping me again move out here. I have to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Maybe his companion added. Oh, a book. That's nice. If you ever need to use a dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Nice. That's good. So there's a good bit of scavenging I could do around here. Like these needles, like these. Goddamn, 
Ай, подрал. Like that. I'm going to sleep. You can go away. I don't like that boat. <laughs> He's not friendly. Boost is all well and good to use at night, but using it during the day is probably a bad idea. Also, while I'm out here, I should probably grab some fish too. What is that? I don't like that. Grab a few fish just while I'm here. slowly get this jet drive engine which isn't like great but it's also small see the thing is 9.5 but in one single block versus 15.8 in two blocks so the equivalent would be that being what is that 80 that 19 knots for two and then 20 on, 38 for 4. So it, it's technically better than both of these having that, but they're probably like really fucking expensive too. Um, yeah. Oh no, I don't have it actually in my inventory, do I? Hold up, need to... I got these? I don't know if I'm Um, okay. Actually, don't I even need...
what is that? Refined metal. Now, I'm pretty sure the what's her name down in the bottom corner area had some refined metal, I think. But I'm pretty sure it was also like five hundred dollars. So that's quite expensive. We also need some wood. We do, however, have a piece of cloth. So that's good. We can drop that off there. Yes, yeah, so we need three pieces of wood, which is not unreasonable to get. Like that's something I can just get in time. I think what I might do is I'll go over to that area, see how much one of these is worth. I think that should be my plan for today. Oh, well, for tomorrow, because we're pretty much at the end of the day. Here. Oh, that also does remind me. Uh, oh, it's gone now. Relax on 10% resilience to panic. Excellent. Looking to see if the time doesn't pass if you're standing still. So just looking to see if there's some materials. Some materials or you fish? I can't tell. Nope, you are material. Abyssal. I don't have that. What I'm thinking is if we hang around this area a bit, do some fishing down here, see what we can get. Should be different stuff compared to, you know, elsewhere. That's right, you don't have... It's not you, is it? Well, we can put... Found at every depth. Hmm. 
Drink the crap. There was one thing that she did, or that she didn't do. If I bought you, it's not as fast fishing wise, but that would allow for mangrove coast ones. I don't know where mangrove is though, so. But I, I want to save up for. Ah, here we go. Special stuff. Yeah, I thought so. It's bloody $500. Hmm. He's also got some of those for $350, which are very expensive. Um. That means it's like bigger or something. save up because it's five hundred dollars for the special piece of metal but it's also it's also five hundred dollars um technically need one more piece of wood, but that'll come in time. Yeah, that's the thing you don't have. You don't have... Oh, no, you do. You do have a wood first thing. What was the thing you don't have that I was thinking of? Oh, no, that's right. I can't say you treasures. I'm still going to take those back to what's-his-name. I haven't worked out anywhere else for those to be yet. Ok, 
Okay, well we still need more cash yet. Wander around just round the back here. Just to, nope, that's that's something we definitely want to avoid. Ran into one of them before and I was like, oh what's this thing? Oh no, it's bad. It was not good. Still need to slowly gather up to 500 uh, stuff, but we can at least say we have all the stuff. Now we just need $500. Whoop de do. back there, there was a bunch more stuff. Too much metal in storage, it's pretty big stuff. So Oh yeah, that's right. Did I finish off? Equipment types that use your ability is it ten percent slower. Lovely, that's very nice. Um can I Maybe.
I hope that red stuff doesn't actually indicate. Oh, it might. It might. Fine. Perfectly fine. Ooh. I think there's a pump. Sweet. You're right, I didn't pick up any fish. <laughs> That was dumb. Um, Alright, so we pop another point into you. Very nice. Heat resistant and volcanic. I'm assuming volcanic is top right and mangrove is probably top left. Until I find out otherwise, I'm going to keep that assumption in my brain. Um, what I want is storage. Okay, now we need some fish. We've done a good chunk of scavenging, we got some spare supplies for when we uh, need more upgrades. But now I need fish, I need money, I need funds. Supplies are all well and good, but I really, really, really need funds. Because this shit be expensive. I haven't checked my crab pot for a while. I should probably go do that. It's probably busted. Excuse me. Right.
getting close. I mean, technically that's got some value to it, but even once I hit this 500 and finally get this upgrade, I've been craving for ages. You know, it's it, it, it's just more stuff I've got to keep going out there and getting. Um, all right. See if I can go for all the eggs. I can't remember what it was that was there, but it was something I needed to get for a quest. Rumbling. Oh, that's what's with the rumbling. He is, he's coming my way. Headed right for it. Yeah! yeah, we're not going in there again. I've officially decided that we are not going in there again. End of story. Not happening. One of my engines just got taken out, which is annoying, because that technically means I gotta pay money to fix the damn thing. That could have gone better. And I lost one of my fish. Not that. Zero sum run, lovely. small ones aren't very good. The bigger the fish is, the better. That's obviously the way of it. Actually, no, it's still worth it. I, I may as well just... Sleepy sleep. Okay. Do not go near there. Because <laughs> I went into this section, so it, it likely patrols all the way around there. Let's try going the other way around this island.
Never mind, mind you, but I get I've been reading a book this whole time. Couple of holes. Nothing. Apparently, I'm gonna have to sell 250 worth of that. Storage. I put you in storage too. I don't know how long it'll be until I get back there. That being said. We should have enough. Yay! Nice. What can we get next? That's the one I really want to go for. The two wood, two metal, two cloth. I've got that. Wood, two metal, two cloth. And then we just need some muns. $300. Oh, is it only one clock? That was my mistake. Okay, and then we just need 300 bucks. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. And it is very much a lack of wood that is stopping me from getting those of these. Not much, but a little. Need two pieces of wood. We've already got one piece of metal, so... I mean, that would really... Help. I need 400, what is it, 475? Yeah, 475, which again, it, 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 it's just a matter of time, really. As long as you're careful, you can just... Mm. Mm, 
get whatever you need, really. Now oh, when you got another one. Didn't you have two of those before? Hmm. Weird. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't buy one. Have a look at the other side of the area now. Now that I got my little upgrade. Hmm. Let's see, let me just check the cash. Hmm. Okay. Not now. I think we should probably sleep for the rest of the day. I don't think traveling at night would be a good idea. Call it a hunch. Approach a hooded figure. Dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered and blackened hands. Fisherman deep falls to The voice gurgles with the sound of the fluid in their lungs. An answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. They tap at a shape depicted. It looks like a red snapper. I'm afraid I don't have one. But I'll see what I can do. If I happen to find one. Ow! Oh, that's a problem. We're well past halfway through the day, and I think oh, we got close. Oh, 
Oh, there goes the sun. Still got a bit of time. Not doing it just yet. Wrong button. A couple of good lab laboratories in ruins, equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards, check the cupboards. Oh, take that. The equipment. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scored note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Retaliation? Since what? Or from what? Look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow into large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Oh good. Well, that's nice. Look at an item from the garage in the floor. No generator splutters and ticks over. Can hmm. See, now you know why I didn't bother picking up any fish. I didn't know if I'd be able to sell them. That's a thing. Uh, that's that's a thing. That's a thing and a half. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Okay, don't don't do that. Yep. Yep, that is that is not a thing you want to do. Also means I can't sell her any treasures, which is annoying. She doesn't do that. Oh. Whew. Yeah, okay. Note to self about that. Yeah, that's um that's not good. 
I think we've got the treasures in storage because it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting back there anymore. There's 15.8 which I can have 3 of, which is 45 and a bit. Or I can have 26.3 times 2, which is under 60. Hang on. So that's 40, 45... 47.4 and that is... 52... So yeah, 2 of those in that slot would be better than anything else. That's interesting to note. So I should be saving up for new equipment as well as for upgrades. This is the thing, you need so much money for all this stuff, it's quite amazing how much money you actually need. Oh good, you do have those back eventually. Um, did I get any... No, I, I thought about it, but I didn't do that. Okay. So this is a new area, which does mean some new fish. We've gone over 300, that should mean I can buy those extra four slots. Nice. <clears throat> so, yeah, we need one, so we need two pieces of wood and about 200 bucks. Okay, that's fine, we can get that. Um. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If you're traveling between areas, you should install a troll net for the trip. Now, we don't want to get too close to the center of this lagoon, but I don't think being here is a problem. Nice. I don't exactly know, of course. I'm assuming I should avoid the jellyfish, considering they're bright red. Red things have a tendency to be bad. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. 
Now we just need... Okay. Right, so. Um, it's four o'clock, time for a break, but we're doing good. I think a couple pieces of wood. We've already got the money for the next two upgrades. That's fantastic. Um, then I'm thinking, once we've got all the upgrades, I want to start looking at what equipment to get. Because... I do have the uh, the ability to get some better equipment, so I feel like I should really be aiming for that next. And then we'll sort of see where we go from there. Anyway, back in a bit, guys. And we are back. Okay, what was I doing? Sleeping. That's right, we need a couple of pieces of wood. Somewhere around here, bound to be some. Okay, what have we got in terms of the map? There is something over there. I heard something. And there will be the wood. Hopefully there's two pieces. Ow. Three pieces, I'm rich. Waves lap a pile of flotsam collected on the beach. Nestled in the center is a wooden chest. Hmm. What is this? Large scrap of paper. Very large. Now that is something that guy wanted. I don't think I can get back there before these go off. How fresh does the snapper need to be, pal? Expecting visitors, who were you? Just a fisherman. Ah, yes, I, I thought you had the look. Um, but the fisherman all the way out here. Strange. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you have the time. What do you need? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Uh, take, a this, take a look at this list of specimens I need. Please, drop them off here. Hmm, experiment with different fishing strategies. Well, we know where the octopuses are. Based on that, almost looks like I need a net. Interesting. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Oh, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. Bit of a struggle. No other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? 
Oh, probably you don't. <laughs> when I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here by myself. Thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet, out here. It's just the machines. What sort of thing attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It's huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess it's some sort of octopus or squid, or maybe an anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. A lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Is there anything else unusual? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before... Oh, she... Researcher is quiet for a moment, stares off to the side. Anyway, I keep finding them among my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I guess I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Not strange or unusual at all. The researcher wanted. they don't need to be that much. Hmm. Um, Oh, that doesn't matter, actually. Um,
you think? I should try to make it back to the researcher. Keep these things still relatively fresh. Why did my light turn off? I know we could do that. Where is the red snack? They might only come out during the day, now I think about it. Like that. The fog is very effective at limiting your visibility. I do quite like that. I mean, not like like that, but you know what I mean. Okay. And that one, yeah, that one I can only catch. Hmm. Yeah, I can only catch that with a net. Because that's like... Oh, well, I didn't say because I put the thing in. But this one had like... Engaged to be married. We sail us out at the very center of celebration to see lights. We talk for hours. Something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some, pa some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I don't even remember what he said, or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. Can I take my eyes off it? P.S. I'm not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or even today's. Given that occurred at a conjunction between days, I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Um, yay, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to get a red snapper and then I need to go and sell the damn thing. That is not a red snapper, but I don't mind selling it because we do have to get some upgrades. That'll do it.
coastal, eh? Rod troll, not pot. Speaking of pot, I haven't had a look at you so far. Please don't be broken. Hmm. Well, I can't quite take that, but okay. Something roared. Good chunk of cash. Maybe I should get like a better tool than that. Because the one I've got is a pretty basic one. Three days. Three days. See, this one will last seven days. It's expensive, but it lasts longer and presumably by extension catches more fish. Okay, tell you what, we will sell you and buy you. Now, the other thing I want to do, shipyard. Do I have? I don't have. Out. That is clearly and obviously a map. I didn't even know a map was something you could find. Yeah, we also really need to head back to the middle bit. Um, so one thing I want to do... It's 270, I can't even afford that yet. Sell prices, 10% reduced buying prices. I thought something had clicked there because the prices did look a bit odd. They suddenly all had like bullet, like points, like half pennies and stuff like that. Mm. So we're earning more money because I was looking at, yeah, because of that. Like, I mean, it's 350. Some of them had halves, I'm sure they did. Um. What do we need for this? The 800 bucks. Yeah, I think I need to focus on upgrading some parts to my ship. Because what I want to do... Is I want to buy... Well, technically speaking, I want to buy two of those, but I, I don't think I have to... I could only buy them one at a time. And see, it's cheaper now because it was 300. Now it's uh, 270. See, that's what I want to get next. I want to buy that. But I also would like to buy one of these. Trawler net. At some point. I also want to buy... Something like this. Because it's mangrove, coastal, mangrove, volcanic and shallow. That's oceanic, that's coastal and shallow, so, you know. So I could buy you, 
and you put them in the six blocks over there, combine them, that's easy. And that gives me kind of everything I need. Hopefully, theoretically at least. So I think my next focus has to be getting all this nice. It's 300, over 300, 300, and 300. So that we, we need like 12, you know, 1200 stuff, really, in order to get all of this. That's a lot of cash. And I could buy them one at a time, that's not a problem. Um, I'll probably buy the engine next. I'll do a bit of late fishing, because I think the stuff you get at night is technically a little better. As long as you're careful and not stupid about it. Be careful about going too far out. Should that be some cash? in storage for now. Okay. Now, okay, so what we need to do... Now we can go even fast. In an ideal world, what I would then want to do is... Oh no, that would... Oh, I was thinking maybe we could get a second one of that. Actually, one of those seems fine for now. Um, okay, so that's good. That's the engine I wanted. So it's basically replaced... What was it? It was... Yeah, it was a 10.5 with a 26.3. So that's definitely an improvement um, by quite quite a lot. 
Okay, so that's good. That's that's another good speed boost. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are eventually going to need to stop moving. Do we have some? We do have a few pieces of equipment. Let's drop those off just to see what we've got. Oh, you need two specials. That's like a grand. Well, okay, technically it's about 450 now, but so it's 900 plus 800 for that. That's like $1,700 just to get the next big upgrade. I mean, it would be nine new cargo spaces, which is quite pleasant, but even so, okay. Oh yeah, we're booking it now, look at this. I've not written in a few days. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to frog, fog my brain. I thought you could frog your brain, but I mean, who the hell knows around here? I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here, they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. Which came over the crew, such a tantalizing discovery. Over the next moments, with excruciating clarity, we pried it open. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. A crashing wave rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, turned to me his eyes. I saw void. Page is going to off here. Hmm. Probably we do win this on my return trip. Also, I'm going in so completely the wrong fucking direction.
Put it through your holes up the scroll to cut the shape. Here's your bloody red snapper. Rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you saw. Another a sacrifice. Now, I don't have one of those, but I think I can get you one. At least I'm moving with a good amount of speed right now. I also saw campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you do? Search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of some wooden support. There's nothing remarkable about it. Okay, symbols. The symbols span the breadth of the camp. Twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. First footprints tread carefully around each symbol. Last symbol trailed off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Glint of metal shines upon the sand. Oh, that's nice. Take it for yourself. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they were left by a man. You don't know much about footprints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol shows off holy. Looks unfinished. Catching a fang tooth isn't too hard. I've caught a whole bunch before. One of the fang tooths. Yeah, they were over in the other area, bottom right, whatever the hell that place is called. Wait, the ring? That's not the ring I just found, is it? The research. They're near the jellyfish, they are. Presumably. They are presumably bad.
what is that? Infected? What the fuck does that mean? Well, I guess we're about to find out. You, um... Oh, they are significantly less. We should still take it. So that's something at least. Okay, storage. Storage. I don't know if this ring is what the guy needs. Might be. Store yet, though. I will, but not yet. Uh, okay. That is a very, very, very good question. I'm thinking at this point... Actually, what I do want to do... I will... Four hours. But what is that? I'm not the billet. Like, oh, that catches things as you move that needs repairing every so often. Put it in. Oh, I don't put it in my cargo. It just stays there. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting. Okay, so we need to go. Unfortunately, he's going all the way around.
I mean, I'll take him the ring and present it to him, but whether or not it will actually be what he's looking for, I don't know. Oh dear. I may have wasted the day. Quite bad thing to point back. Eh, we'll be fine. can move quite fast now, so I'm not that worried about it. It's quite quick. Good. You. I forgot you like this. Trembles before you, and then symbols glow from the dead. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Sudden chill runs through the marrow of your bones, soaking up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Counter greater marrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed, its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky behind a cyclone that drains the world. Okay, yeah, so. I thought so. Some of these bloody stones don't actually exist, do they? Well, shit. I didn't think that was real. <laughs> Man, you look exhausted. You're not beginning to get sleep, are you? So they say taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Nice. Did I need one of those? I have this vague memory that was one of the things. Arrows. Wait. Hang on. No. Uh, no, actually, what's the I'm gonna go. Aurora jellyfish. No, not that then. Okay, that's fine. Um, I will show off the coin, the ring to the guy, but I don't know if it's gonna do much.
Hmm. <gasps> right, okay. He doesn't seem to be going, oh my god, that's amazing, you've got the thing I wanted. I'm going to assume that ring is not something that's, like, worth his time. Probably shouldn't, I need to calm the hell down. <laughs> I need to make a point of spending the next night asleep. I, I need to sleep. Nice. Good. That's good. Okay. See, I want to go back there because I feel like that's where the rest of the stuff is. You know, the uh, the, the pieces of that map. can get back before something really bad happens. This is my problem. I, I, I spend days that I should focus exclusively on traveling and I spend them fishing and that's a very bad habit. But I've very much got a break. Fine, we can stay here, we can rest, we can sleep. I wonder if we can grab her equipment. No, there's nothing new to say. Good night's rest. That'll do it. Also, I have just noticed it's well past five. I'm gonna take another quick break and I'll be back in a minute. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back. Okay. It's early in the morning, everything is good, I think. And we picked up some wood, so that's always nice to have. Uh, where do I see? Okay, yeah, I need more muns. Always needing more muns. That's working quite well, though, at least. No, I don't want those.
Now what we've got is the two specials to get. That's fair, that's perfectly fine. something a bit weird, isn't there? Still, that's good, because what that now means is I can go to the shipyard. Um, do I want to sell this, or do I want to get rid of it? I'm thinking I can sell it, because coastal and shallow that's fine. I can get coastal there and shallow there, along with mangrove and volcanic. Which means the only one I don't have is the oceanic, but I'm currently using that for... Yeah, okay. So actually, I think I can sell you. There we go, that's good. And then we buy you, even there. It will push me into night, but that's fine. By you, you can get there. Excellent. That only increases my fishing speed, which is good. Um, yeah, it allows me to catch volcanic and mangrove whenever I find those. Um, so that's good. So I've got this map. Which, I mean, I, I have the faintest idea of where that's going to connect to. I need to find the other pieces for it, but I don't know if they're nearby. Sure. Um... I wonder... Okay. You know what? Sure. Whatever. Strong explosives. Hmm. What is that? I wonder. Excuse 
blankety brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. You dip up the boat into the thigh high water, the dog stops chasing the fish and focuses on you. Chasing fish towards the dog? You have scraps into the water into the dog, it passes the splash in shallow sea water. So you approach. Wait for the shore, you get near the dog, backs up a little way, it sits. It's off the carriage noise as the dog cautiously approaches, it stops just out of your reach. That's the dog. You draw out for the dog, it shies away and treats the short line. Looks at you respectively and looks at the fish. Pat the dog. Reach out, gently pat the dog. Right, flies follow your hand, it seems to understand you're not a threat. Pat Seems to be enjoying it. Keep patting the dog. I assume we can have this dog like on board. Leave. Make way back towards your boat. You're waiting out here, sloshing through the legs, cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Yeah, let it follow you. You continue. This time with the dog alongside, the tail's wagging so hard it beats the water to drift off behind it. When you get to the boat, turn around, pull the dog on board. <laughs> really? I've got to actually find space for this mutt? Well, I can't say no to doggo, can I? Walk around very soon with a kilometer ball looking up at you. Maybe you can find this dog a more permanent home. Oh! More permanent home. I thought I was just going to have a pet dog. That would have been nice. I would like a pet dog. So who would want a dog? It's a bloody good question, isn't it? trying to think like where 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 the hell would I take the dog? You know, I can't do it. I, I was just going to leave you in storage, and I'm like, no, I can't do it. I just can't. I know it's going to take up space in my cargo hold, but I can't just leave the dog in there. I cannot do it. I just, I absolutely positively cannot do it. Not happening. Does make me wonder who the hell's going to want the dog, but... Your 
The thing is, if I did that, I'd have one space I couldn't use for anything. Which, I mean, it would be good if I unlocked that one that's just a tiny, weeny little engine. Uh, that would be okay, but yeah, there's no way I could... So that's something I'm going to have to wait until later. Because what's in there? What's that light? Still need 450 for you. Twice, in point of fact. Although... Although... I will say... One thing I have considered... Is... That... Um... In that little bit where, oh, you need explosives to get through here... That looked like that, didn't it? I mean, I could be wrong. It could be something completely other. But it looked like that. I wonder who wants the dog. way to do this without him like noticing I guess I guess going in at night would be better or worse wrecked me. Well, okay, fair enough. I find a more permanent hunting for the dog. I legitimately don't know.
Yeah, have I found a conger eel? I have the faintest idea. Let's see. Don't even know where it is. I know I found a few things that are kind of like eels, but... Barracuda. We should head down to the ice pit just to see what's there. Looking for the place for dark. Hello. Somewhere I can dock? Just might be. Interesting. Hmm. I need to investigate the ice field too. Seems to have appeared out of nowhere. The best guess is that it drifted up from the south. Either way, I thought I should set a pontoon here, but... That and when I want to state my claim, I notice some more equipment on the ice. Mm. And check it out when you get a second. In the meantime, I've got some new rods for sale. I'll be covered for fishing the ice around here. A traveling merchant has crossed over to the nearby iceberg and inspected some old pieces of metal. Mm. New approach. So word, this stuff seems old, like really old. If he kicks a large sheet of metal, Half embedded in the ice, a thin layer of snow dislodges, revealing lines of rivet holes. Huh. Come here, look. You follow her into a small makeshift shelter, ruined by years of harsh weather. Inside, some schematics nailed to a table, still barely legible. Hmm. See how they angled these sheets and the lining of the metal around the bow? Whoever was here, I think they were constructing an icebreaker. Hmm. What's an icebreaker? Reinforced structure attached to the front of ships to help them safely cut a path through ice. Mm. With these plans, I could probably make another. Mm. She trudges outside again, paces the length of the metal scrap from uh. the ice. We've got most of the basic materials here already, but of course, we're missing the most crucial mm. pieces. Icebreaker needs specially tempered angled metals. 
as well as components designed to minimize the impact to your hull. Can't see any of those here, but wherever left uh, all this stuff here, maybe they left other pieces as well. Or maybe you'll just be able to find the old ship and salvage the icebreaker they already built. That would be convenient. To build a new icebreaker, perhaps we need... Right, so we need... We need a lot of stuff. I forgot to drop you off, didn't I? No, I didn't. Well, I, I did drop it off, and then I died, and it reset. So, yeah, okay. Ah, ice. And just generally ice. Ice and oceanic. Really, ice and oceanic. That's interesting. But I still couldn't use that with the thing. So. I just noticed what the time was. Oh, fuck are you. That was barely a tap. Whoa, it gets dark out here. That's not even fog, that's just dark. Fisherman, I presume. Do try to keep your engine noise to a minimum. You're going to frighten the wildlife. Uh. There's a narwhal somewhere in this ice field. Couldn't get any further in, so I've been trying to take a picture from here with no luck. I tried placing some scraps of fish on that ice sheet over there to entice it, but I didn't have enough to hold its attention for long. I only caught a glimpse. Mm. I suppose you have any fish you'd be prepared to donate to the Institute of Wildlife Photography. Fill the space entirely with any fish. And imagine the narwhal is too picky. I don't. I don't think I can do any fishing here because I don't have ice. Although, then again, these might not all be ice fishing spots. Nope, that's ice. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. 
that's the bloody me. I really feel like I shouldn't be here yet. I mean, unless there's another place of safety, I should probably turn back. Because otherwise I'm not going to have enough time to get back to the dock. Paying attention, I suppose. Several rock cuts above the waves. There are four large, powerful fish shapes. There's space and four great fishes running through the rock. Interesting. Um, do I just need to fill it with fish or fill it with specific fish? Okay. 
another divot this time. Why am I here? Why, why, hang on. I think it's about there, because I'm looking at the the map. I, here's the thing about this is I don't know if I need the full map before the thing will even show up. I might. I might. I might not. I don't know. You think? <clears throat> Closer to that. Again, just looking at them. So, so, it might also be well. Actually, it's quite close to the end of the day. Let's rest. The only person off the top of my head I can think who might want a dog for reference, I am still considering that. Um, see, I might not even be able to get it because I might need a pistol stuff. I haven't earned that yet. I might need to like get all of the map parts first before I can do anything on that. I mean, it would make the most sense. I still need to find that last fish for the researcher too. Ooh. 
Which I think I might be only able to catch at night. Because... The other two were nighttime creatures. So, you know, logic dictates. Let's find out. I don't think it was. I think that's one I've already dropped off for her. Oh, a dog. Oh, that's right. She says she was lonely. I forgot. I was thinking it was the woman who I built the house for. So I bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. You could definitely take this one off your hands. I'd love the company. Are you sure? Um, yeah, sure. Take the dog. Be such good friends. He could be my assistant. Suddenly the dog stands up upright and begins to retch. Stomach thieving and glistens in the pucus. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there you go. One dog. Wasn't quite expecting that, but um. Yeah, that's right, it was like a jellyfish thing. Well, I found what I was looking for, so that's good. surface specimens I need, but uh, I do need some from deeper down, but that's going to be a problem. I don't think I have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. The other to die to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone, so over the other research outpost before the attack. Keep going, retrieve some prototype carefully, it's just to go during the day, I don't want to be out to at night. Okay, well, rusty rusty snooze snooze. Sell my shit and we'll grab that stuff for her. That's a thought. If I only boost when pushing forward, then time actually stops whilst it's cooling off. So if I'm desperately trying to get somewhere nice and fast, and save time, I mean it doesn't matter at the moment, but that's an interesting mechanic to think about. Mm. Which might be, I haven't checked that crap pot for a while, maybe it's kind of blinking.
That was the reason ruining the equipment of research papers strewn all over the place. After some searching, you find the prototype parts. Yay! It's actually really just the center bit you have to avoid. You can kind of skirt around the edges a little bit and not have to worry. Which is good. Oh, thank you. Whatever you're selling, I ain't to buy it. I wish I knew what those sparkles above the surface were. I don't know. Assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but maybe you can make some improvements. Right. Now developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it, I'm not sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours. Other than that, it's completely automated. Take a look at the list of specimens. You might try to activate the machine before you attempt to collect them. And also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Right. Okay. Oh, there's another one. That's handy dandy. Look at that. Abyssal stuff. Abyssal and Hadel. These will be Abyssal, Hadel, and Oceanic. Coastal, Shallow, and Oceanic. Fine. I don't have a thing for that. Um, okay, what I'll do real quick, just before we end today's session. So we've made some good progress on upgrades. Haven't made a huge amount of progress in terms of whatever the hell the main story is. I'm assuming finding those items for the guy. Need to be connected to the output generator. Full object rolls out from underneath the Not right now. No point. 
but that does allow me to why can I not put you're blinking at me game why can't I not put that in there do I have to have the thing installed is that what you're telling me I might have to have the thing installed um which would be somewhat annoying Uh Hold up. Yeah, we need to work out like where to get bombs from. I feel like that some some sort of objective I need to work out. See I could get rid of Oceanic. is a little on the annoying side, but not like terribly so. There it is. Now available in stores. For how much? Put this little in Hegel. I could buy that. Yeah, I do also need to buy an ice one as well. So if I... I think I can sell you. I guess I can't sell that, which is a bit annoying considering how much space it takes up, but hey ho, what's it gonna do? My storage is quite full of stuff right now. Well, isn't that interesting? I was looking at that map completely sodding wrong. Bottom corner, kind of. Yeah, so it's kind of bearish. That's worth looking for. Uh, that'll have to be tomorrow, though, because we are unfortunately out of time for today. But I think we're doing okay. So, yeah, we've definitely made some good progress. We've upgraded our ship quite a bit. We can now do abyssal stuff, which is interesting. Uh, whether that'll be a good thing or a bad thing, that remains to be seen. I do definitely want to upgrade my ship, but that requires two of those special parts. And that's really expensive. That's like 900 bucks. I do want to see if I can go find some bombs, because I think I can get to some more... Uh, like, like to, 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 to get to some better equipment by blowing up some stuff. I don't know where I'd get bombs. I may have to try some of the other places. We'll um we'll have to see.
Thank you all for watching everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this and I will see you all whenever I next see you. Take care out there everybody. Bye bye.